Let's take a look at this sample day of training from Range of Motion Individualized Programming. We start each training day with pre-exercise dynamic movements, moving our body and joints through the ranges required in the sessions and the movements to be completed that day. From there, we move on to pre-exercise mobilization work, starting to release some of those structures that may inhibit safe and strong movement. You can see for each of these, there is a very detailed a video demonstrating how to perform those movements, not only for what we do pre and post exercise, our clinic type movements, but also during the sessions themselves. From that point, we move on to pre-exercise activation, which is a series of drills that turn on the muscles we're gonna be using in the movements in the sessions we're about to get to. We then build to our working weights and full movements, and now you can see we jump into the programming itself for that day. The first piece of training for this individual on this particular day is part of our relative strength, strength and stamina testing. We have four different tests we use for relative strength and stamina, which is our ability to move our body in space. This covers two of those tests. The individual will find a max bar dip, then they will rest five minutes and then perform max unbroken reps at 75% of that max bar dip in 60 seconds. They will then calculate how much work has been done in that time, and that's one of the main metrics that we will log and track over time. You can see then moving on to a plyometric agility and sprint-based session. We do program a lot of outside the gym work for our clients as well. Again, you can see demonstration videos of how to perform each of these movements. And finally, the last piece of training for the day is a heavy loaded conditioning session. The individual here in this case has 20 minutes to build to a five rep max of a barbell complex. And again, you can see full video demonstrations here of how to complete each of those movements in that particular session. The other thing you will notice here is we have very detailed session notes. So the session notes are clickable from each of the sessions we program for our clients. These will take the, the individuals through things like the programming science, the reasoning behind what we do, health and body composition benefits, the performance benefits and strategy, how that session should feel, scaling guidelines, and also some common mistakes to watch out for. If we jump back to this day's programming, from there they finish off with an EIP, which is an exercise improvement program. This is a series of short, very short five minute sessions that we just tape onto the end of each day's training to identify a weakness, or to improve a weakness that we've identified in one of our clients. Maybe something that needs work, maybe something that they would like to focus on at that time. For this individual on this day, they're working on improving their static handstands. Finally, to finish off, at the end of training for that day, post-exercise stabilization work to strengthen any of those underactive muscle groups we've identified during the session, and post-exercise mobilization work to release any of those tight structures that maybe we've seen which are compromising not only movement safety, but also the individual's ability to express force. Again, all of these pre and post exercise movements have extremely detailed videos outlining how to perform them correctly.